Hi, it's Binny here. Today, I want to talk about why it is no longer makes sense to buy on market euphoria. All right, of course, to bring you to one opportunity in the Singapore Bank. All right, so let's take a look at what we have here. This is a chart on OCBC listed in the Singapore Stock Exchange. So what we saw in the early Jan was that price had a huge surge. Okay, so that was accompanied by volume. So that's a textbook example because price move up, volume move up and that's a buy. But the market is no longer that naive already and things has pretty much changed. Right. So when price was at a high here that you can see, you can you can see that many people went in to buy OCBC and many people went in to buy at a high. Alright, so um, what happened is that they think that if they're gonna buy here at this price, let's say around 1070, price is probably going to move up. But they forgot to check something. They forgot to check the overall environment. STI was then near to 3000 and that's a psychological resistance point. All right, so um, it is much better if you can get hold of this information, which means that a lot of people bought in at a high price, all right? And you wait. Why, why do you want to wait? You want to make sure that whoever who bought in can hold and whoever who are weak and cannot stay on this trade are being read out, right? So therefore, we wait, right? So you can see a few days of a price moving down and we call that a uh, you know consolidation or retracement or change of hands, whatever you want to call it. But the fact is that price did not continue to move up. In fact, that whoever who bought hoping that they're going to have a quick gain, all right, will be very disappointed because right now they are seeing that price is actually moving down. All right, so right now we are at the end of the week on a Friday, 5th of September, uh, February. All right, then what can we conclude from here? Number one, we need to know that whether these people who bought in at this place and perhaps a lot more people who bought in at the high, all right, have they, um, you know, are they able to hold on to their position? And if they can't, all right, um, are they, uh, have they gotten out of the market already? Have the very strong um, buyers with money, are they into the market already? Have they accumulated enough? And that's why it makes sense not to buy on market euphoria because right now the market is very smart, okay? Smart with a lot of machines, a lot of algo running, and they sure know where are the buyers and sellers located, all right? So if it becomes too obvious, then it's, it's going to just flip the other side and make it difficult for, for you, okay? So right now, we always wait for a right point to buy. So where are the possible right point? So let's try to find the possible right point, right? So number one, price have moved from the low to the high, right? We try to work out mathematically what we call a retracement level. You realize that price has almost corrected near to a 60 to 70%. So it means that if that's a uh, hundred dollars, it pretty much has a, a discount. Okay, has a discount of seventy percent already. Isn't that a nice deal? So if you go and buy things, all right, and then instead of buying at one hundred dollars, you can get it at like thirty, forty dollars. That's good enough, all right. Now let's take a look at the second thing, right? That's where we we can draw in some lines, and I like to use the concept of equidistance channel, right? If you were to take the high and map in here, you realize that hit right to the equidistance channel low. Okay, so um, if if we measure it mathematically, if you buy at the low of the channel, right, then you can look to sell at the high of the channel. So that's work out like uh, a poker game. All right, if you could draw a cut of one A's or two, then you have the chance to uh, exit your trade near to the 10 or maybe J, Q, K. All right, so that's how we calculate the probability. Now, third. If you see support and resistance, you know that price came into a previous high that's acting as a previous resistance and it come back into a support. So technically, it's at near a good point. But lastly, I want to point out one of the concepts that, that wasn't very, very highlighted and that's the concept of hidden divergence and that, that's something that I teach in my course. Okay. And the concept of hidden divergence is to suggest trend continuation. 
all right so we can see very clearly that the MACD is showing the hidden divergence at this point of time so we just have to wait for a trigger in OCBC we just have to wait for a trigger and we are waiting for a trigger and that trigger is called wash and rinse all right so um, if you are interested head to my website and then we're going to talk about more about how to use wash and rinse to trade into the equities uh, into the forex into the indices all right and that's a very wonderful trigger that let you buy or sell at the low or at the high all right see you next time for my recording and remember all right um i'll be talking in the sgx singapore trading festivals and if you like to join me in my session please click on the link later on